A top EU official says he is confident that Eurozone leaders would reach a breakthrough to help Greece avoid a default and a possible exit from the euro bloc. The EU's Economic Affairs Commissioner made those comments hours before the Eurozone's emergency session on the Greek debt crisis. Calling it a decisive moment, I should say, Pierre Moscovici said the fate of Greece and the euro will largely be decided on Monday. Earlier, the Office of the European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said the latest proposals submitted by Athens offer a good basis for progress. Meanwhile, the Greek stock exchange has surged over 7% on hopes of a last-minute deal. Greece and its international creditors are wrangling to end a five-month standoff over reforms that are required to unlock bailout funds to make Athens pay its debt. The IMF has already warned that Greece will not be given a grace period beyond June the 30th. To discuss that further, I'm joined Mr. Paolo Raffone, who is the Secretary General of the CIPI Foundation, and he's joining us live now via Skype from Brussels. Sir, thanks very much for joining us. Um, now you're in Brussels itself, um, and we're hearing these positive words from some officials. Um, do you think that the atmosphere there is positive? A bit too much to say. Let's say that over the past 24 hours, there has been an easing uh, uh, of the position from the European institutions. We have heard uh, Mr. Draghi, the president of the ECB, um, being ready to uh, give some kind of support to the Greek uh, uh, banks and uh, um, a bit less loudly uh, from the Commission. There is uh, an uh, undeclared wish to find a solution. Um, so the Greek government feels encouraged by this. Uh, they're coming in with a proposal which is in, it, in itself uh, very close to what was the request from the European institutions. So they are going to have an adjustment of 2% uh, of their um, uh, public expenditure, and uh, the uh, EU was uh, requesting a 2.5 percent. So actually, is a few hundreds uh, millions uh, of euros of difference. Um, uh, it's not a matter of numbers. Here is a political decision uh, that has to be adopted, and for sure, the uh, uh, steps that the Greek government has taken uh, with regard to uh, Moscow, uh, basically the signing of the agreement uh, for the pipeline, uh, 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 Turk Stream, and on the other hand, also a certain degree of support from the financial side from Moscow to Greece have been uh, uh, received in Brussels uh, as uh, a push to find a solution. I do not expect to have today uh, a, a final solution. We will probably have to wait for the uh, uh, Council at the end of the week. But uh, certainly, if today uh, there is at least an agreement of principle, this would be encouraging. Right, and I, I want to talk about the politics a bit because, you know, obviously there are many eyes watching this Greek situation, uh, such as in Spain, et cetera, et cetera, many other places where anti-austerity parties are not gaining momentum in Europe. Um, how do you think, is, it, is that why do you think Europe is now finally compromising a bit more with Greece? Well, the situation of Europe is uh, is very critical. Uh, as you know, uh, the EU is divided. It's divided over a number of issues, from the uh, foreign policy matters to the immigration policy, uh, the the euro area, which is not all the all, all the countries of the EU, as you know, uh, also has divisions uh, within itself uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, the, the policy to be followed to the point that the president of the ECB has uh, recalled everybody today to uh, make any necessary step to avoid uh, thinking that the euro could be uh, reversible. So uh, this means that there is a certain degree of uh, worrying around Europe. There are too many uh, uh, problematic uh, unhandled situations that risk to compromise the entire construction. Very well. We'll leave it there at that. But as always, of course, we do appreciate you taking your, ta taking your time to speak to us. That was Mr. Paolo Rafone, who is speaking to us live from Brussels.